the top of League One squeezed up even more yesterday. Now just five points separating first place over Wednesday and fourth place Plymouth. Guys, apologies for the lack of production today. I am at the Pizza Cup final. Wembley is about probably half a mile that way. I've just got myself parked. This was the only time I was going to be able to do this today. Apologies. Um, it's a bit of a throwback into the car, like the good old days. Check out that vlog, by the way, Bolton v Plymouth. Really looking forward to that 75,000 at Wembley. Um, so, look, in a strange twist yesterday, Sheffield Wednesday, back to the top of the table, but the wobble did continue for the Owls. We knew that Draw Kings Lincoln were capable of going to Hillsborough and pulling off that type of performance. And they did a 1-1 one, one draw. One of those really irritating ones, if you are the home team, though. 66 percent on the possession 21 shots for Wednesday was not enough to take three points that is five without a win for the Owls they were absolutely terrible weren't they at Forest Green I would say the performances have just amped up a little bit to come back from two down at Cheltenham was impressive and look one of those days yesterday wasn't it where the numbers say dominance but the scoreline only says one point rather than the three they go top having played a game more than the next three down. And hopefully for the Wednesday with the Easter weekend coming up, they can get a few of those missing players, Wilkes, Patterson, Byers, Windass, etc., back into that team. Plymouth, well, they're here. They're down the road already um, in second place. Still, it's not been a bad time for them in terms of what Sheffield Wednesday have done. They will be a little bit concerned, not today, obviously, but they'll be a bit concerned about what Ipswich and Barnsley have been doing. But look, it's all about Wembley today. Reset and focus for the running for Plymouth. Let's talk about Ipswich, who's winning streak continue 2-0 Ipswich 1 at Derby that is one of the three difficult away games ticked off and one for Ipswich still got to go to Barnsley still got to go to Peterborough seven wins in a row eight clean sheets in a row before this streak started you can check the videos back I said look the only thing that's really going to get Ipswich back in the automatic race would be this type of run I'm not sure anyone saw it being quite as flawless as it has been. The Wednesday wobble also means it's just now two points behind both of those teams in the top two. Game in hand on Sheffield Wednesday now. And it looks like the momentum, the fine margins, maybe the odd refereeing decision are all going with Ipswich at the moment, who are absolutely flying. So are Barnsley, who bounced immediately back. This is what they had to do, having gone to Exeter and lost in the week. OK, Morecambe at home is a nice game, but then we said Forest Green uh, for Sheffield Wednesday was a nice game. Bit different Morecambe on the road, who are just absolutely hopeless. Worst away record in the league. But Barnsley had to do the job, and they did it imperiously. 5-0 win for Barnsley yesterday. That will remove any hangover. I've written down on my notes, hopefully start another winning run. But being they've got back on the horse so quickly, is the old winning run even finished? 11 wins in 14 for Mike Duff and the Tykes. Bolton stay in fifth. I will say exactly what I said about Bolton, about Plymouth. They are the right side of the line. They want to be. They're focused fully on Wembley today and keeping the vultures away. They're all circling just below Bolton, just below Plymouth in their respective challenges. They've got waiting for any mistakes. Bolton and Plymouth will be back at it at the Easter weekend. So, Derby's defeat against Ipswich allowed Peterborough to overtake and go sixth. And Derby have really run out of steam. We said they might be a potential top two challenger when Paul Warren went on that big first run. I think maybe um, coming up to Christmas, maybe sort of New Year time, if I remember my timeline correctly. But confidence really seems to have crashed and they really, really have fallen off. Peterborough, meanwhile, do seem to have the bit between their teeth. They've taken over into sixth place, but I think they'll probably be disappointed. They've won three on the trot. Nil-nil at home to an Oxford side who have been there for the taking. I think 12 without a win for Oxford is the longest winless streak in League One. So, a bit mixed for Peterborough. Obviously, the job for Darren Ferguson was get them in the playoffs. They're in the playoffs, but will they look back at the end of the season and think two points dropped there? Uh, Wickham drawing and Portsmouth winning does now mean we have a little bit more of a playoff shootout. Maybe 
five teams in contention for those two places. Look, if you are a fan of any of these teams, it'll make you anxious as hell. For a neutral, this um, sort of past run in League One has been absolutely brilliant. Um, not long ago, and you can see the evidence on the channel, I had... Sheffield Wednesday are sort of champions elect and really I thought Wednesday and Plymouth it would take something pretty mad for them not to be the top two outside chances we fought for Ipswich and Barnsley but the way it's gone okay Plymouth haven't wobbled massively they've dropped some points but Ipswich and Barnsley have been so speedy in third and fourth that that has made this next race and of course, Wednesday had been so imperious, 23 undefeated, it would have taken that kind of wobble for the Wednesday to really be even close to being caught. And that is what happened. Five games without a victory. Um, look, momentum is probably with Ipswich and Barnsley at the moment. Wednesday and Plymouth do still hold the high ground, which when things get really, really nervy at this point, can count for a lot. It is also now as well, starting to be worth looking at goal difference, which goes Ipswich Wednesday, Barnsley, Plymouth. We also, I think, have a legit playoff chase. I remember a couple of weeks ago saying, look, I think these playoffs are all locked up. Momentum is with Peterborough and Portsmouth, I would say, right now, more so than Bolton, Derby or Wickham. But again, look at who's holding the ground, who's got the points, who's got the games in hand, etc. And also start looking at the goal difference. And look at who's the winner of this game down at Wembley today. We have seen teams go south after losing this game in the Pizza Cup final. So have an, have an eye on that particular narrative as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as ever. Easter is always absolutely vital with the Good Friday, Easter Monday head to head. Let me know how you see the automatic and playoff picture going in League One. Again, apologies for the lack of production. Kind of fun doing it in the car once again. If you're new to the channel, this is how we always used to do this. No flashy backgrounds and nice editing and all of that. Just me, stream of consciousness. That's what you get today. So let me know if you enjoyed that and you might want to see more of this type of video in the um, in the channel. We're getting some parking wars down here at Wembley already. So um, I'm glad I've got my space, to be honest. Uh, next video will be that Pizza Cup final vlog. I promise, guys, we'll get back to championship stuff maybe tomorrow. That being Monday. In the meantime, you can check out myself and not the top 20s. Ali Maxwell doing the championship prediction. Big day in the championship yesterday, particularly in terms of that automatic race. But we will get into that on the channel. I'm going to upload this and then I think I'm going to go and enjoy Wembley Stadium and the Pizza Cup final. Check out the vlog later.